Okay, Rolly. So this is the Urban Cowboy. I love cowboy stuff, so I wanted to design a bike based on a cowboy theme. Um, as you can see, you have the horns here, so a very macho bike. Actually has a real saddle. I mean, when people say, hey, I spend a lot of time in the saddle, you really mean it when you ride this bicycle. And the coolest thing about this bicycle is you can go super fast because you have tons of horsepower. See that? That's horsepower right there. This is Robert Egger. Robert is one of the most creative guys in the bicycle world. Years ago, I tried to make a short documentary about Robert, but I never finished. So I bet Robert Egger hates me. Anyway, Robert is the creative director at Specialized Bikes. He designs road bikes, mountain bikes, and tons of other bike stuff. He can build anything. So what does Robert do for fun? As near as I can tell, he designs more stuff. Like his crazy concept bikes that seem to be pure artistic horseplay. This is old footage, but Robert's designs are timeless. So I hope he doesn't mind. Is that a problem, you guys? Okay, we, we can start on this police bike over here if that's cool. Good morning, I'm Robert. I got some cool concept bikes to show you here. This is one that I did a while back. This is a police bicycle. And uh, we were selling this to the police department and they were pretty interested in it. And one of the, one of the officers said, well, what, what is this thing here on the bicycle? And I said, hey, that's where you put your jelly donuts. And after I said that, uh, there was not so much interest in this bike anymore. All right, this is a concept bike called the Speed Queen. Um, this is a lowrider bicycle made completely of fiberglass. If you look here, the saddle's actually integrated into the frame. My philosophy is really to make design exciting. I always try to infuse, you know, a lot of soul, a lot of character, and a lot of speed in the work that I do. As a designer, your intent and your job is to inspire people. People always ask me where I come up with these crazy ideas, and I think uh, a lot of it stems from childhood. I just, I just had a very crazy imagination as a kid, and I think that's followed me in my older years, and I think I just, I just never say no, and I just feel like uh, the bicycle can be so much more than just something with two wheels and a conventional double diamond frame. I think a bicycle can do almost anything. I mean, a bicycle can be used as a, as a piece of cool machinery to ride down to the beach and have a trailer that's a barbecue. You can have a bicycle that is power assisted that takes you to the store to pick up a six pack. You can have a bicycle that looks like a dragster. You can have a bicycle that looks like a big wheel. I mean, for me, it's endless what you can do with two wheels or three wheels or five wheels or 10 wheels. If we move over here, I have a couple of other bicycles. I don't know about you, but when I ride my bike, I get very thirsty, so I'd like to stop and take a drink. Well, what's your definition of a drink? If you ride this bicycle here, you can stop and make yourself a martini. And this is a cool little piece here. If you pull this, this activates a chute in the back here, so if you get going too fast, you can actually deploy a chute, which would slow you down. This is the fastest looking bicycle in the world. This is the world's oldest mountain bike, and as you can see, this is the first saddle ever produced there. See that skin on there? This is the first set of, of handlebars here made out of an old brontosaurus bone. Also, they, uh, they were very fashionable too. This is one of the first skin suits ever worn on a bicycle right here. So they would wrap this thing around their, uh, their private parts and uh, they would race, so unbelievable. We were able to dig this up uh, when we were doing excavation when we built this building here. So. Unbelievable, and it was a specialized bike nonetheless. So, this bike is 10,000 BC, that's before Cannondale. So, that's it. I just want to really explore what a bicycle can be, and uh, I feel like I've only scratched the surface. There's so many other things that a bicycle can be, and I'm really motivated to see, see where this can take me as an artist. Frank, gotta, gotta be able to pedal it. What did we forget? Oh, I don't know what that is, but we didn't forget it.